How y'all doing out there? This is your man, Nico B. This is episode of The Black Effect. We're going to come around with a new season um, very soon. But I want to, I had to just touch on this message quickly. It's not going to take too long. Megan the Stallion. Megan, you need to stop the course that you're on because it's not a, a healthy course that you're, that you're on right now. The path and the trajectory that, that your life is taking, it hadn't been right since this. It hadn't been right for a long time. You need to give your life to Jesus. You're not seeking righteousness, man. What you're choosing to do is you're going out and playing the game, the go along, get along game. You're trying to get down with all the socialites and, and everybody in the know. You're not trying to pick your own path and, you know, and do what you need to do. You're allowing yourself to be used. You're allowing yourself to be used by this industry to be the industry slower. Don't allow them to do you like that because when you because they use you up pretty quick. Look at Lil' Kim. No offense to the Queen Bee, but, you know, when you get past when you're not living righteously, when you start getting living for Satan, it's like you turn to the dark side. If you look at um, Star Wars. And I know it's a movie, but you look at Star Wars and you look at the dark side and you look at the Jedi. The more and more you turn and towards the dark side, you start to like you see how they start getting deformed, getting illnesses and disease. They be kept together by cybernetics and all that. Still very powerful, but you know what I mean. They don't. They don't have. Uh, they're not pure under the surface. Like they, they start to deteriorate. Cause I'm serious, man. Living that type of lifestyle sap your energy, but. You're making you over here trying to talk to people's now you're trying to make your MO talking to people's girlfriends. I mean talking to people's men, talking to people's girlfriends, talking to people's boyfriends. You trying to talk to ASAP Rocky, knowing that he just had a baby with Rihanna, and you got unfollowed by Beyonce, Rihanna, Drake. Hey man, you gonna get unfollowed by anybody who, who ain't with the go along, get along, and anybody who got respect for themselves. Don't nobody want, you know, don't nobody respect that, Megan. You sleep on trying to go out and you could do anything. Like even with Kelsey, Kelsey is pregnant now, you know, uh, salute to her, man. And, you know, peace and blessings to her and her pregnancy, man. And so whoever, I don't know who she pregnant by, you understand? But uh, yeah, you slept with her, man. You you tried to sleep with Tory Lanez. You slept, you not, not try. You slept with Tory Lanez and this is what caused all this riffing. You know what I'm saying? Now you into it with with uh with your with your label, your former label. You still you still ain't out of that out of the hot water with them. You can't just rob people and renege on contracts and run off. You can't do that. You know, don't nobody respect that. Men can't do that, and neither can you. You know, but you need to correct this path you on. That's all I'ma say, man. That's that's the main goal. Um, goal of this message is uh, Megan. Correct that path. You're not. you doing. Look at what you're doing. Look at the life you're living. You're not going. You don't want to be that that type of woman where even you know men ain't men don't do nothing but use you and women just start to despise you because they don't see you as being no sister to them. You know. You even have a lyric in your song. Uh, don't call me sis because I'm not your sister. Stupid lyrics. I I just really don't like when a lot of women raps, man, but that, you say that, don't call me, like, what's wrong with, with having a sisterhood, what's wrong with a woman calling you their sister, you know, expressing some love, but you ain't feeling that, you don't, you ain't with that, you know, I'm telling you, these people tell, uh, these people tell on themselves in the music, man, you listen to it, if you just got enough context and understand how art works, people tell on themselves, you know, if you know what to look for, the Lord gives discernment. You understand? But seriously, Megan, you need to pray on the, on your whole situation, on your life, man. I'm talking about seriously. Get off this alcohol. You can't be trying. You can't hear God when you' too busy. You can't. The Lord say, "Don't be a drunkard." When you for men and women, you can't be drunk and high and hear God. It turns your tunes your frequency off. You need to hear him, and that's who blessed you with your career. You understand? So don't your your friend you, you you're not gonna you're gonna look up and you ain't gonna have no real friends. You're gonna look up, you ain't gonna have no friends. I mean, right now you probably don't have no real friends, to be honest. Cause they all gone. Like they saw how you did Kelsey. You really don't have no real friends. Only your family is in your corner. 
You know, your, Tory Lanez really had love for you. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, he messed his situation up with Kelsey. Like, you know, and basically, like a lot of a lot of these niggas running around, you don't need celebrity girlfriends. Not all of y'all gonna be like ASAP Rocky or or Jay Z. You know, y'all know y'all gonna have to get y'all some regular women. Um, but uh, and change their life. You know, I'm, and I'm not talking about no thoughts and no Instagram models. I'm talking just regular women. You know, you didn't know nothing about Kelsey at first. All right, so with that being said, like I say, man, Megan, you on a crash course. The dude from uh, your former manager says that you owe him. Say that the album you put out wasn't but a mixtape. That ain't going to work. So you got to get it all clear. You're going to owe him some money. You know, you're going to start breaking. Like, you, this is going to dwindle out. You're going you gonna to already go into court with Tory Lanez, and, and that's not looking like it's going to go in your favor. It's looking like you embellished some things. You lied. Look like you tried to hide and save face. You we no no you tried to insult our intelligence. That's not looking good. You over here trying to uh text uh you didn't been through man after man after man in this industry for number one. You haven't developed a good reputation for number four. You going you having this um texting other people's men and women, texting people boyfriends and girlfriends. Texting ASAP Rock, trying to get in ASAP Rocky DMs, knowing that he got Rihanna. He ain't got no use. For, he don't have no need to be trying to talk to you. You know what I'm saying? The man just trying to have his keep his household tight. Can the man do that? Oh, but you trying to play him, trying to uh, call. And the Lord say, man, those who cause another to sin is just as bad. You trying to cause him to to leave his household? And the guy just had a baby, man. I need to be getting married. You know what I'm saying? That's too much like real life, though. But with that being said, I'm gonna end it, Megan. Change the trajectory on your life, man. This ain't gonna end for you. You're gonna be one, you're gonna be this is gonna be this is a like a hard end. And I hope that don't happen. I pray it don't happen. So with that being said, it's your man, Nico B, I'm gone.